Hello, and welcome back to Forged by Geeks, playing Kingdom Death Monster, People of the Skull. Uh, once again, thank you to everybody who helped us push over a thousand subscribers recently. I finally got the email from YouTube going, congrats, you're over a thousand, two weeks after we hit over a thousand. Mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> but uh, as a result, uh, uh, as we were saying, we're planning to give away our wonderful dragon model. Um, it's not the most perfectly assembled dragon ever, but it's a model. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> and I'll be mailing it to somebody probably uh, late next week um, or this coming week right before heading to PAX. I'll just hit the FedEx office and ship it off. Um, in addition, if we break somewhere around like probably 25, 30, something like that, uh, live viewers today, we'll also be giving away the, uh, the uh, tyrant to go with it. Uh, it'll be a separate giveaway, so somebody will get each of them. So two people will win. Um, it'll only be for live streamers later on. Yeah, still cool looking. <laughs> I like dragons. So part of why we're giving these away, sometime next week, Fen is mailing us painted ones. Yay. So <laughs> we will have fully painted versions of these, which look absolutely amazing. Uh, I can't wait to show those off. Um, other than that, I... Th oh, yeah, we'll be at PAX. Mm -hmm. uh, so if you happen to be coming to PAX West and would like to say hi in person, uh, just send me a message here, Facebook, somewhere. I'm sure you can find us. Twitter, everything. Uh, just send us a message. Uh, I usually personally have quite a bit of free time at PAX where I just pin trade, so I can meet up, say hi, all that good stuff. Nicole may be running around to panels and a bunch of other stuff, D&D &D games, things like that. So. Oh, dude, come on. I'm probably going to be stalking the goddamn FF14 booth. With my oh, ass. there's an FF14 booth again? Well, I mean, I assume that there's an FF14 booth. I don't know whether or not they're going to do a challenge this time, but if they, if they are, have a booth, they're I'm going to throw myself off a cliff. To get the shirt. Yes. I beat whatever. <laughs> okay, so other than that, I think we're actually good to get this party started and hopefully finished. Uh, and oh, so unfortunately though, next week, because we're at PAX, we will not have a live stream. Um, the following week, we will be facing the Watcher blind. Yes. So it'll be our very first time ever making it to the Watcher. God help us. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, so let's get going. So we've got a trailblazer. Oh, wait. Who's monster controller? Not you. Yeah. Um, one of my characters. Okay, it looks like it's going to be Cauliflaw. All right, and we have a trailblazer, so we start on the second space. Yep. So we just move right in into the second. Oh, we move up, and we do our mining and herb events. Okay, so... When we start the herb event, we gain a survival. Oh, sweet. I am not going to complain about that. Oh, did you bring the uh, reverberating lantern? Yes, I did. Yay! Okay. All oh. right. So, mineral get or herb gathering. So, we need to at least get a 12. Okay. Oh, that's it. Well, that'll get us one fresh acanthus. If we manage to get a 45, then we'll get two fresh acanthus, a random vermin, and all survivors gain free survival. Okay, so I will try to go for the 45. Okay. So to go for the 45, we're going to need the average... So three dice. Okay. We'll start with three dice. Okay. If we can get average, we'll easily get the 45. Okay. Good start, 21. Nice. We can actually cut that down now. Um, so that's the first one with 21. So my next character, now Goku will roll. We need only 24 more. Um, so that would be five dice is all we need. So I'm going to do two. Okay. Because <laughs> if, if odds are in our favor, we should be good. Yes. Seven more. So that puts us at 28 which means we only need 17 more. Yes, two dice should be fine. Oh, come on, Maeth. Come on. Seven more. So that's... Uh, I can do math. That would be 35. 35, so we need 10. So I would do three dice to play it safe. Good. Sweet. All right, so uh, that is enough. Uh, we gained two fresh Acanthus strange resources. 
Awesome. We have cooking, so we also gain one random vermin resource. Oh. If Goku and Kalifa will not be gaining that vermin. Uh, <laughs> Who do you want to gain the vermin? Uh, I guess Hisoka. Okay. Because he's actually not insane. <laughs> oh, that's kind of hilarious. Hisoka, not insane. He's it, going to be insane, but that doesn't matter once we've gained it. Is that allowed? I'm not sure that's allowed. Hey, man, we didn't put Stark Raving on him. Yet. <laughs> yeah. We also all gained three survival. Oh, I should pull out my uh, disorders. Oh, we gained three survival? Yeah. Sweet. What's our cap these days? 11 or 12? 11. We oh, should eat the heart. Yes, we should. Uh, what does the heart do for us again? <clears throat> it, there are various things that it can do. Okay. So, our random vermin. Crab spider. Jesus, wow, we get so many of those fucking crab spiders. Yeah, no shit. Okay, our herb gathering is done, so we now move on to mineral gathering. Technically, the person in control moves. Oh, it does? Yeah. Okay. Because it's another hunt. Card. Ah, right. Thank you. Mineral gathering. So we have one person with a pickaxe. Yep. I've got a pickaxe and I have the digging claw. Okay. Uh, roll a d10. Roll a d10. Mm -hmm. Only the person with the pickaxe rolls. Okay. Three. Uh, you strike a stone that resembles your face. It explodes, covering you in blood. Gain one insanity and the hemophobia disorder. Okay. I think that that is blood. So the question is, do you want to roll again and at least have a chance of an iron? Um, I'm thinking I do, but let me check my disorders, because I may prefer hemophobia to what I have. Hemophobia kind of sucks. Yes, but I also have binge eating. I don't want to lose my spiral ganglia. Mm-hmm. Um. No, it's growing more and more likely that we're never going to complete that stupid gloom thing. I know. There's hemophobia. Ooh, whenever anybody gains a bleed token, you're knocked down. That'd be a bad day. Uh-huh. Um, where is that? There it is. And I currently have absent seizures. So I wanted to see absent seizures. The first time you'd suffer brain trauma, you showed on, you are knocked down. Okay, let's uh, re-roll that. I've well, absent seizures kind of sucks. Uh, but... Oh, and forget a fighting art. Uh-huh. Oh... Hemophobia. During the showdown, whenever a survivor, including you, gains a bleed token, you are knocked down. It's hard to say. I think I would rather not risk losing Trailblazer, Heroic, and Propulsion Drive. Okay. So I think I'm going to take Hemophobia. Alright. <clears throat> that completes the Mineral Gathering event. Crap, that's a bad combo. So Monster Controller moves. Pencil. We always forget something. Mm-hmm. Oh. Too bad that doesn't count for the thing. Oh, it doesn't? Uh, not for Spiral Ganglia. Oh, it has to be in the fight? Yep. You spot a large spherical object covered in flora resting at the base of a small valley. Your lantern light catches a glimpse of a face on it. You may descend and investigate. If you do, gain one courage and roll one d10. Um, oh, this is fine. Okay. Uh, the, uh, what's her face? Mikasa will investigate. Okay. Gaining a courage. Do you need a steadfast card? No. No. Five. You scrape at the ball, but the fumes make you sick. Gain one preserved caustic dung and lose one survival. Yeah, a dancing fool. I don't think you've been yeah, on our stream before, so welcome. Yeah, you... Three survival. You pretty much nailed what uh, we were thinking. So, uh, preserved caustic dung resource. Ah. Oh, we got one? Yes. Oh, sweet. Yeah, the 360 Twitch app, they haven't updated in a long time. When I've used it, it's been really, really buggy. And then, did you need something else? No. Okay. All right, monster controller moves. Next event. Sudden rumbling. You hear
hear a low rumbling and suddenly see an enormous ball rolling right towards you. Roll 1d10. If the result is equal to or lower than your courage, you stand your ground, otherwise you dive away. I dive. Because <laughs> uh, I have zero courage. So you did more diving than Grand Blue uh, Dreaming. Yes. You already did more diving. <laughs> Uh, hmm. five. The ball clips you. Suffer two event damage to your arms location. Ouch. Yeah, that puts him, so if he gets hit with the ball to the arms, then he is gonna take a severe injury. No, he won't. Yes, he will. We're only doing a level one. It does five damage regardless of the level. Oh, I thought it was only, I thought it would have been down to four. No. Okay, and you've got the three extra armor on him, right? That's Hisoka, not Oh, Mikasa. okay, that'd be why. Okay. So go ahead and roll your random events. Oh, 72. 72. Yeah, he was doing dodgeball poorly. <laughs> um, 72. If the settlement does not have symposium, ignore this event and roll again on the hunt event table before moving on the hunt board. We have, we have symposium. symposium. Otherwise, Thank God. the event revealer suggests a word game to lighten the mood as the survivors trudge forward. The event revealer rolls 1d10. If the settlement has Song of the Brave, add 4 to your roll. Which I believe we do. Yes. 10. The game is astonishingly fun and the survivors' spirits soar with their booming laughter. Each survivor rolls 1d10. On a 6 plus, they gain 1 survival or cure 1 disorder. <gasps> Okay, Kalifa got the 6+, plus. by Hemophobia. I rolled double tens. <laughs> oh, shit. Uh, but all I gain is a survival, because these two don't have disorders. Son of a bitch! No more Hemophobia! Yay! Though I really would have liked to have gotten rid of Traumatized. On Goku as well. Mm -hmm. But no, I roll a 1. Okay, so we are going to Sonorous Rest. Almost wanted to get a reroll on that one. Too bad. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Matham. Yes. It's so true. Yeah, that was one hell of a word game. Hi, Hero. Thank you for joining. Are you looking to win a dragon today? Okay, so each survivor has time to either rest or tune. Rest, gain two survival with an additional plus one survival for each um, green you have. Ooh. Or tune, gain three insanity and an additional insanity for each blue you have. I will take survival. Same here. So it's how much survival base? Uh, two. Two plus green, so I get five on Califla, or three because she's max. If the settlement has innovated war room, the survivors use vibration cancelers to allow them to be more produ productive within the reverberation area. They prepare in silence for the upcoming battle. Each survivor may do both of the following, repair up to D5 points of armor damage suffered during the hunt phase, and remove one token gained during the hunt phase. So that at least fixes Hisoka's armor. Okay. And I don't need either of those. Ow. Okay. Hisoka has all the disorders. He's Mr. Burns. <laughs> okay, we do not have storytelling, so we cannot do the other part of Sonorous What Rest. is the other part? We've never been able to do that. Uh, they put on a play with shadow puppets. Roll 1d10. 1 to 2, play is terrible. Nothing happens. 3 through 6, the survivors are amused and relax a little. Each gains plus 1 survival. 7 to 8, the play is nothing more than a joke, but the silent smiles and unheard laughter warm their hearts. Each survivor gains plus 1 courage or plus 1 understanding. Nine plus. With reverberations drowning out all sound, the group shares a wondrous moment, inspiring them for the upcoming battle. Each survivor gains one random fighting arc. Oh! Yeah, it's actually pretty good. Damn! We need to get storytelling. Well, yeah. That may be a problematic after this lantern year. Mm -hmm. um, I think I'd prefer to get the other thing, the book, the almanac. Yeah. That would be pictographs. Yes. Okay, not for the targets. Hey, Nabato! Thank you very much, for, or Nabato! Thank you very much for joining. Man, we really got fucked last uh, uh what should we call it? Dung beetle night. Oh yeah, we did. Oh my god, that sucked. 
That was not a good song, Beetle Night. No, no, it was not. I yeah. just do not, like, the way that he does that, where he kind of, like, looks up, like... We've got a cat looking really silly over here. Yes. Hi, boy. How you doing? He's like, I have the worst humans. Yes, the worst humans. You didn't give me somewhere comfortable to lay. How dare you? He could have laid plenty of places that would have been more <laughs> comfortable, but no. No, why would he do that? Okay, so we will get a tactics card coming into this one. <laughs> Ooh. Yeah, this should be a... I'm not going to say it. I'm nope. going to keep my mouth shut. Yep. We saw what happened last time. Yep. <laughs> Separation anxiety. <laughs> How long have we been playing KBM in general? Um, we've been playing pretty much since about three months after the original release. Three, four months. You got it for me for Christmas that holiday? Yeah, I think something like that. Um, and we started streaming about nine months after the game came out. So we started streaming in June a little over two years ago. Um, we, this is our fifth campaign on uh, Twitch. Yeah, our first one was a green armor. Or, no, this is our sixth. Oh, really? Oh, yeah. Fifth main, and then we had the hero campaign. Okay. Oh, wait, no, the hero campaign we counted. Okay, so, yeah. Did you count two? Yes, I count two. G settlement number two was our most amazing settlement ever. Yes. <laughs> it was so amazing that it just seemed to go by in a flash. Yes! <laughs> and, and resulted in a beautifully painted mini. Yes. <laughs> Uh, though we still need to get Spadicky Bees done. Yeah. I definitely want to do Spadicky Bees next, probably. Yeah. Um, okay, so for our tactic today, we get Attack Pattern. What is Attack Pattern? Um, at the start of the survivor's turn, you may declare that you are using an attack pattern and decide an order of survivors to attack the monster. Survivors gain the following bonuses for their first attack as long as the order is followed and each survivor hits at least once. Hits, doesn't have to wound. Um, first survivor gets nothing. Uh, second survivor gets plus two strength. Third survivor gets plus three strength. Fourth survivor gets plus four strength. If any survivor attacks out of order or fails to hit on the attack, the pattern is over. Okay. So that actually could prove useful, like have my two characters go first, um, and then uh, hand it off to yours to get the extra strength. Yeah. <coughs> um, in general, you're right. <laughs> Settlement number two, yes, that is very incorrectly <laughs> named. <laughs> I'm sure there was a settlement out there somewhere they would have shown up at. <laughs> well, no. Actually, we've got that thing where uh, it's basically like, you know, that hunt event where you come across like a failed start? Yes, yes. That 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 was it. That That's perfect. Uh, I believe this starts two behind the dung ball. organization. Oh. I'm pretty good at just setting this crap up. Uh, it is... Yes, it is where it is supposed to be. Cool. Okay. Okay. So, and then we have to set up as bowling pins for him. Okay, I think I'm gonna... So he will target the furthest survivor. Yep. We can... Oh, wait, no, you could push the ball. Okay. Yep, I can push the ball with Goku or Kalifla. Okay. Um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put... Oh, shit, thank you. No, it is not a 168, it is a 166. Okay, I'm going to set up uh, Califla in the pin position. Um, you yeah, know, we have oh, we never buried a uh, freaking Zambato. Uh, oh, you can bury Zambato? Zambatos? Yeah. yeah, you can bury Zambatos. Shit, we should do that with our next bury. If we bury. It actually doesn't improve it that much relatively Can you still speaking. wield it? Yeah. Okay. It's still bone. Yeah. Okay, cool. This is the calcified Zambato. It loses frail and gains two strength. 
Yeah, I need so to fix the nice, focus on that at some not, point. <laughs> it's nice, but it's not, like, critical. Yeah, we're sorry the one camera's out of focus. We don't know why it won't let me tweak the focus for the this session, so I'll have to fuck with that after the game. Uh, first aid kit, if you are not at max survival yet, uh, you will gain, uh, three survival. I am at max. I am also at max. No, I do have the scavenger kit. Okay, that's good. I also have calcified shoulder pads on first, so I can ignore the first hit, possibly. I mean, it's really funny, because we effectively got the extra dung, anyways. Yeah, that's a good point. Whoo! <sighs> so, the ball's gonna go at Goku. Mm-hmm. Um, and then he's going to go at... Uh, we didn't just drop frames, did we? No. Okay. Um, just my video started buffering, so okay. that worried me. Um, so we should be good. All right. The top card of the hit location is going to be a Century Carapace. All righty. And just a reminder, we'll be giving away the dragon later uh, in this gaming session. Okay. Okay, so he goes first. Yes. Um... He spins the ball, yep. whee, and ends up in front of him, mm -hmm. um, and I believe you have monster controller. No. I definitely do not. Goku does. Alright, turn to face target, perform baller, now roll 2d10. Okay. That is a 6. So this ball moves 6 spaces. Wow. Nice roll. Okay, and then his movement is seven. He full moves towards the ball. Okay, and then here's your AI card. Nice. Shoulder bash! Closest stinky threat in field of view. That would be Cauliflaw. Um, does he have any speed or damage tokens? No. Holy crap. He's a level one. Right. Thank God. Okay, so this will be an accuracy of 10 plus. Okay. Of course I roll a 10. Mm -hmm. I am going to dodge that. Okay. Which means you do not get the bash knock back and bleed. However, you are knocked down when he ground pounds. Uh, okay, is that all it does to me? Yeah, it knocks you down and then... Uh, it would move 1d10 spaces towards the monster, but it's next to him, so it doesn't do anything. Oh, the ball would. Yeah. Okay. So and now it's okay. our turn. Fist and Tooth Mastery. Stand back up. All right. Okay. And now it's time to hopefully kick <laughs> the shit out of the dung beetle knight. Ha ha. Ha 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 ha. Ha 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 ha. Okay, so, um... <laughs> The top card is the Century Carapace, so it's plus six toughness, which puts it at a toughness of 18, uh, and uh, you only gain plus two d10 strength if you hit with a club shield or pickaxe. Okay, I'm going to go behind him and just whack him with Goku. Okay. Um, so, let's see, what's my speed going to be? Four. And I'm going to hit on anything but a one. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Fist and Tooth Mastery is our no, favorite thing. No, formation. Declare attack order. Oh, right. Attack pattern. Um, so I would say Goku, then Cauliflaw, and okay. then what do you want? Uh, Goku, then Cauliflaw, then Hisoka, then Mikasa. Okay, sounds good. That would be three hits. And I rolled a one. Hopefully all of those shoulder pads. Nope. Shit. Swarm of bot flies! Yay! I love bot flies. Um, add your courage. If the result is greater than six, I have to hit at least a seven. I have four courage, so I need a three plus. Okay. That is a three plus. Okay, can you toss that back? Um, boldly ignore the flies and archive this card. It is archived. Okay, so now the Century Carapace. It has plus six toughness. That puts him at an 18, is it? Yes. Okay, so I have... 14 base strength. Okay. So I need four plus. Okay. And... Oh yeah, nothing else matters. <laughs> That is sufficient. Wound. 
Instead of wounding the monster, archive this card and gain a survival. If you attack... Da, 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 nope. No pickaxe. So that goes away. I am not using a club or a shield. Note, I only crit on an 8, 9, or 10. Okay. Good that enough. is a crit. You break the monster's horn. Gain an iridescent horn, dung beetle knight resource. I am not complaining about getting another one of those. Nope. Uh, Note, I am an axe specialist. So if I fucked that up, I could have rolled again. Wow. Um... And he has a persistent injury of broken horn. Okay. You know, the funny thing about the persistent injuries is they're nice, but that actually decreases the size of the deck. Yeah, I know. Okay, so the next one, if you are if you fail, you will suffer knockback 7. Um, and if you crit, you gain an elytra, and the monster gains a negative 1 toughness token. It is a persistent injury. So, speed of 5. Thank you, Cauliflaw. Yes. And your sword. Your Freaking horrible sword. Um, speed of five and. Oh, what? wait. You did deal a wound. Oh, yes, I did. I did deal a wound. So he's done to nine. Yes. And Goku got his axe check mark. Oh, uh, wonder if the attack order matters for Surge. We have historically said yes. Wow. Four hits. And I rolled another one. For once, I'm rolling them on stuff I don't care about. Mm -hmm. As a matter of fact, I'd prefer ones. Okay, that sucks. Um, What's my strength with this character? Nine? I don't think I can handle an 18. Nope. I will put those at the end. <laughs> um, <coughs> that's... Oh. Oh. Do I have three plus courage? You do have plus two from the attack order. Plus two strength. Yes. Oh, good catch, good catch. Um, I'm going to start with the filthy wing. Because it's a failure condition. So, uh, I have a total of 11 strength, so anything but a one die wound. And I crit on six plus. Okay. Uh, yes. Thank you very much, a dancing fool. So I wound, um, which no failure, but I do not get the litra or break his wings. Take these broken wings. Uh, how does that work? Wait, uh, let me think about that for one second. That yeah, because you could have chosen to wound a different location. Yes. If you wanted to. Insufficient to do one of the carapaces. Okay, what about the other one? Wound? Okay, never mind. Yeah, yeah. yeah. If I got a crit, I would have hopped to that. Yeah. So now on to that. That is a wound! I think. Yes. Barely. Uh, the monster stumbles backwards. It suffers knockback three directly away from the attacker. And Goku is knocked down. Yep. <laughs> and this kind of sucks. Uh, perform ground pound. Shit, is that 2d10? Uh, ground pound is... Uh, 1d10. Come on! I'm getting the ones! Let's get the one! <laughs> no. Alright, it goes straight to him, right over Goku. And stops on Goku, which causes knockback. Yes. I And how much damage do I take? Five to one hit location. Oh! Arms! <sighs> but I did deal a wound. Yes. So he's down... So we've dealt three wounds. Yes. Is there three in that? Yes. Okay. And the other two are now out of range. <laughs> Uh, knockback three? I thought it was supposed to be knockback five. Knockback three. Oh. Thank you. Or wait, for that, uh, no, collision is five spaces. Yeah. He got knocked, the, but the, uh, beetle knight got knocked back three. Yes. So it was here. Oh, you're right. Okay. There we go. All right. Um, hmm. 
Now it has to still be your character's order for the strength bonus. Mm hmm. Which was he's. Oh, no, it was Mikasa and then Hisoka, I think. Yes, I did. Uh, Tyson made them all fixed. <coughs> mm. Ooh, one of your characters can't reach without a dash. Mm hmm. Oh, it's Hisoka then Mikasa, my bad. Yep. Which was wrong. Oh! <laughs> well, still. Yeah. Hisoka can at least just run up and attack. I'm trying to decide whether or not I, like, how I want to deal with it, though, because there's a couple of reasons why it's not correct. Like, there, why there are some problems with it. I think it's probably okay, but... There we go. Alright, so... I am attacking with the Zambato. Uh, I have an accuracy of 2, that brings it down to a 4+, plus, and then I am a Grand Weapon Specialist, because we have the Master in the Settlement, so yep. that brings it down to a 3. Nice! That's okay. a hit! Alright. So the problem is, is that he made basic action me. To the oh! That would um, be bad. Yeah. So, anyways. Uh, I wound on a 4+. plus. And I crit on a 8 plus. Alrighty. Crit, 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 crit. Oh! I wounded. Two wounds? Yep, because it's a Zambato. Yep. So, uh, he is an Abyssal Sadist. I should have searched. Oh well, sanity up to three. Uh, okay, so now he performs Ground Pound. Which I knocks you down. Knocked down. The ball does not move because it's already adjacent. Um, and then it performs a basic action targeting the attacker. Uh, it is going to be a speed of 3, mm -hmm. an accuracy of 7 plus, and a damage of 4. Ooh. One hit. Okay. And where is it going to hit me? Because I'm not, I'm like, this is a reaction, so I can't dodge. Head. So that's four to the head. I am out of armor. Boot to the head. Nah, nah. Boot to the head. Nah, nah. All right. So there we go. Top card is another Century Carapace. Yeah, now you get plus six strength on Mikasa. Oh, yeah. Technically, he would have wounded anyways, because he's got the plus three strength. Oh, I yes. Or plus four, yes. Uh, no, he had plus three. No, go. Kasa has plus four. Oh, you're right, you're right. It's not uh, four and then six. It's uh, two, three, four. But we do have the problem that right now... Okay, so... Um... I move over, and... Uh, we, can, we can still dash and hit the ball out of the way. Yeah, but I have to dash anyways, so why not oh. dash and surge right now? To knock the try to knock the ball out of the way, and then go in dash and dash and then do your normal move and attack to hit him. Yeah. So I push the attempt to push the ball out of the way. Three. Which is good enough. Of course, you know. So now I. Good thing you didn't do five. Surge. Goku just likes to be knocked around. Yeah. All right. So this is going to be one die with the calcified juggernaut blade. Uh, four. That is good enough to hit. Yay! Uh, unfortunately, it's just a oh. century carfus. Okay, um, plus six toughness, so it's at an 18. Uh, she has four strength plus two strength naturally, which is six. Six plus nine is 15. Is the, and then the plus additional four? No, that's, who I already okay. took that into account. Okay, so you need three plus to wound. Yes, three plus to wound. It is a three. That is sufficient to quote-unquote wound. Thank you, Lean Vibe. Thank you very much for joining. I gain a survival. And that is the end of that turn. Woohoo! All right. The next location is a parry. So you must crit him or you do not wound. Okay. So um, the question is, do we want to stand up 
our characters. Yeah, I'm gonna stand up Goku using Kalifa. Mikasa is going to stand up Hisoka. Okay, and then I'm going to take Kalifa in since she has our best uh, crit chance. Um. Okay. But you also draw a shit ton more locations. Yeah, I do. <laughs> this is the downside. Mm -hmm. Oh. Yes, I do draw a shit ton of locations. And got a 10. No trap! Okay. So. I get to pick location after rolling. Mm -hmm. um, I think I would take the Dung Beetle resource instead of the uh, Regenerating Blade with a crit. Yeah, we already have a Regenerating Blade. Buried. No. Oh. We oh. have a Regenerating Blade. Oh yes, and we have one being calcified. Yes. <laughs> Another one being calcified. Yeah. We already have one calcified. Yeah, it's kind of ridiculous. Yeah. That's okay. why we didn't you that's why we didn't calcify the Zambato because the calcified juggernaut blade in some ways is better. Yes. Here we go. That's a wound. So I think I'm just gonna get rid of this first card. Oh, unless the wound result is a critical, it's a yeah. failure. That's yes. bad. Then I will hit the filthy resin sword. Okay, and that is a wound, you said? Should be. Let me okay. make sure on my strength. That may not be. Actually, 9, 10, 11, he's 12? Yes. Shit, that is a failure. Okay. Um, failure is perform basic action, target the attacker. What does... Uh, oh, actually, I will throw that on... Give me that card back. So you're going to fail on the uh, Sentry Carapace? Yeah. Okay. Because all it does so is cost... So you do lose the survival. Yep. I would rather lose the survival on that. That's not too bad. Yeah. <sighs> so I have to crit to do that. Um, I can take a basic action. Um... Or she's watching. It was watching Twitch chat. <laughs> I think I'm going to do this order. Yeah. Though basic action may knock me down. Let me see. Unlikely. What's his base damage on basic action? Four. Okay. Um, that's not too bad. Actually, let's swap those two. That's good. I will do this. Hey, Pillow Spade, thank you for joining. So, let's... Yeah, uh, that is a crit. Okay. Uh, yeah, but uh, you still move the ball 1d10 spaces towards the monster. Oh, I do? Yes. Okay. Which is going to be super bad. Uh, no, Goku can still knock it out of the way. Okay. Um, that was my plan. So that is a crit. I gain a random Dung Beetle Knight resource. All right. And deal a wound. Though my hope is we kill him before that's a problem. Um, I was thinking about that, but I wasn't worried about moving the ball, ball up. Do, 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 do. <laughs> Can't be a regenerating blade. That's a gear, not a resource. <laughs> you gain a century fingernails. Ooh, can't complain about that. <clears throat> okay, next one. That is just a wound. So that is not a failure. So nothing happens. So he has three cards left? I had barely a wound on that. I need a three plus the wound. Wow. That is another crit. Gain another random Dung Beetle Knight resource. Uh, Scarab Wing. Oh, sweet. We needed one more. And that actually was a wound, because even though it's a parry, you did crit. Okay, so he's down to two cards. Yes. Okay. And the last spot is an 18. So I'm at 9. So a 9 plus to wound this. Mm-hmm. That is not a wound. Yeah. 
Uh, so I lose a survival. Yeah, I know. Well, this is level one. I mean, we would have wanted to, like, do a level two, but with having to bring out two newbies, we've had some bad experiences with it, so... <laughs> yeah, no shit. We want, we were planning to do a level two originally, as our stream says, but we cut down to level one in part because the Watcher's next Lantern year. Yeah. So we're going, oh, fuck our lives. Okay, so now we need to decide how we're going to handle this. Okay. So he only has two AI cards left. You have not, you've surged on one of your characters. Yeah, I surged on the character with the Calcified Juggernaut Blade. I did not surge on the character with the Zambato. Hit with the Zambato. Okay. Because if you wound him, I'm just going to, I might take Goku in and give it a shot. Well, first, uh, we cannot wound him. It is a swarm of ball flies. Okay, then I'm going to send Goku in. Worst case, you can run over and knock the ball away. Okay, just be careful where you stand because, yeah. Thank God I have eight movement. Mm-hmm. Okay, so I get four dice, anything but a one. Mm -hmm. And I roll a one and a ten. So that's three cards? Yep. No trap. So Swarm of Botflies will go first. Impervious Super Denses. Shit. Oh, he, is, he does not have Separation. So I will, or if he had separation, I would discard this and draw a new hit location, right? Yes, but it doesn't, we don't want to do that because it's the trap. Oh, it is? Yes. Oh, shit. That would be bad. Yes. Okay. So I will go for the swarm of bot flies. I need... Yeah, the one saved you, actually. Yeah, it did. Holy shit. <laughs> and you do have a cat's eye, so we can cycle to try to kill him. Yeah. Sweet. Okay, so I need a three plus. Yes, three plus. And the bot flies are gone. All right. And I can try to wound these. Um. Yeah. Only on crits, right? Uh. No, they're no, impervious. You can't, yeah, even if you crit, you can't. Okay, yeah, the monster sure. guides the attack into the side of the resin dung ball, making a demoralizing echoing sound. Unless attacker is deaf, they lose all positive attribute tokens and one survival. Okay. So unless I crit, I lose a survival. Mm -hmm. That is not a crit. So I lose a survival on Goku. Oh, wait, and this, I had a surge and dash to get up there. Okay. Um, next one. Not a crit. Lose another survival. Alright. So now, uh, Hisoka has to dash and search. Okay. And I push the ball. One space. That is enough. Mm -hmm. Alright, so, now the monster controller moves. Okay. At the start of his turn, he does not perform power forward because the ball is not adjacent to him. Thank God. Resin plated right. Closest knockdown survivor. None. Closest stinky threat. That would be Califla or your character. Uh, all of us. Closest. So. He's right in the middle. We're all adjacent to him. Oh shit, I was looking at the ball. Yeah, closest, like, stinky threat. Okay. So... I would say Goku. Okay. I have shit tons of armor. If you're comfortable with Goku. Yep. Alright, then... And I can dodge, right? Yes. So this is a speed three. What is his uh, evasion? Uh, eight. Alright, speed three, accuracy ten plus, damage four. Alrighty. One hit. One hit. Uh, where does it go? You will take bash and bleed. If you do not dodge, it hits the head. I will dodge. Okay. Now, he does perform his basic action next. Okay. That can also go against Goku. Um, alright. Yes. Alright. So, basic action is going to be a speed <laughs> 3, accuracy 10, plus damage 4. I mean, is this not, like, perfect for a Goku build? Uh, he misses on all of them. However, now he moves towards the dung ball. Oh, colliding with Califla. Yeah, unfortunately. One, two, three, collides with the pillar. Um, 
When a survivor collides with this, roll me a random hit location. I suffer one damage to the arms. All right. Okay. So the first thing that Hisoka is going to do... Well, is... first I'm going to stand up from Fist and Tooth Mastery. Okay, the first thing that Hisoka is going to do is Cat's Eye. Nice. All right. Good crit location. Um... Oh, wait. No, I probably want to save my survival for the Watcher. I'm not going to blow Heroic. Okay. I Yeah, I'm not going to blow Heroic. Yeah. Uh, Okay. Both of these I can wound with my um, with my characters. Yeah, I th we're trying to save survival for the Watcher fight next. So we know both of these are safe. So Hisoka is going to attack with the Zambato. Sounds good. And the top card is super good. Uh, Hisoka is next to him, good. Yeah, Hisoka. The other character isn't right now. Yeah, Hisoka is a... Um, hits on a 3+. plus. Did he have to search for this? I already searched. Okay. That's a hit. Throw this in back. Come on. So. You got this. Yes. Oh, we didn't decide an attack order. So I only wound on a 4 plus and I crit on an 8 plus. Okay. That Enough. is a wound. Wounded. That two is wounds. Two wounds. Uh, the reflex. Okay. Uh, turn to face directly away from the attacker. The monster beats its wings, all survivor in its blind spot, so for knockback seven. Alrighty. Alright. So now the top card is the filthy face. Do you want to be behind him? Uh, sure. So I am going to now move and attack with Mikasa, with the calcified juggernaut. Come on, Mikasa! Get the neck shot! Get the neck shot! Hisoka has the crab. Um... Uh, I'm behind him. Yes. So, four, three, and then grand weapon. Two. Yay! So <laughs> Being behind him was a good thing. I try to hit him in his filthy face. <laughs> so, you, you're wrapping around at the neck and went, ah, fuck it. <laughs> so, I crit on a nine or a ten. Shit. I fail. I surge with Mikasa. Uh, any I failure can't... reaction or anything? No, I can't surge with Mikasa because the next card's gonna be the fucking trap. Oh shit, and your other character's already surged. Yep. What does the trap uh, do? Full move directly towards the attacker and gets slammed inside. Attacker suffers five damage to star hit locations. Okay, why don't we just leave that on top? I'm going to move up Califla and knock the ball away. Okay. <coughs> The ball is knocked away. Okay. Um, rightfully so, you should probably dash out of the way to avoid being hit by the ball. Uh, yes. Alright. Okay. Okay. Yeah, go for the throat. <laughs> okay, pass monster controller. And basic action targeting Goku. One hit. One hit. To where? And does his basic have any side effects? Uh, just he moves towards you. Okay. Ahead. Okay. For four damage. For four damage. Um, hold on. I think that might do something to me. Um, oh shoot. I should have been getting knocked down periodically. What, because of the bleed tokens? No, traumatized. Oh. When I end my act next to him. Okay. But I've, I haven't ended and not been okay. stood up, so I think we're good. So I would would have been knocked down at the end of that round. Um, that would be fine because the basic action would still target you. Yes. <laughs> okay. Um, okay, all good. Hisoka is going to search during the flow. You're all three, two, seven. Maybe do I want to do it? Or do I not want to do it? Do I want to save the survival? Spend a survival on these? Save the survival. Okay. All right. Um, so then he's going to move towards the ball. Okay. He has a movement of seven. That's fine. All right. So... I stand up at the start. Hisoka is going to... Cat's eye. Cat's eye. I am going to... 
cap, so I, I'm gonna, I'm gonna start his turn. Okay. Um, okay. Um, he's not currently separated. I can fix that. That's fine. You don't want to fix that. Okay. Um. Yeah, Goku's on his butt most fights anyways. So, so true. Alright, I am going to put them in this order, and, uh, let's see here. So, I did that. And then um, Hisoka needs to move. Yes, he's actually going to move here. Okay. I think. That's fine. Yeah. And then Mikasa is going to come in. Ah, and do the first attack. And attack, yes. Okay. So she attacks with the Calcified Juggernaut Blade. I hit on a... I have one accuracy. So I hit on a four, and then because of that, I hit on a three plus. That's Enough. a hit. Come on, kill him. So um, I wound on a two plus. Okay. I crit on a nine or a ten. That is a wound. All right. If the attacker is adjacent to another survivor, the attacker is showered in praise. I can't. I think the reaction. No, happens the reactions. At, he's dead. Yeah. So he's dead. He's yeah. dead. Damn it. Damn it. Why? What would you have gotten? Oh. So we have a dead dung beetle knight and a dead ball. Okay. Well, technically the ball's not dead. He's just knocking it around. All right. Here are a couple of resources. Okay. This is my resource. Here's a couple for you. Yeah, I know that we should uh, move the thing off, but the problem is, is that it's the way that we hook up the Lucky Charm. Yeah. Uh, so. Yeah, we don't have many options for hooking up the Lucky Charm with uh, people no, with the actually, skull. you know what? I could hook it up uh, possibly with the Gloom Mendy now. Actually. Oh, really? Yeah, maybe. Yeah, I could probably hook it up with the Gloom Mendy, but I may have to lose the extra evasion. Ah, uh, so only four basics, right? Uh, hey, Wenwamba, thank you very much. Why doesn't he have at least one? <laughs> we get six basics. <laughs> uh, oh, we get six off of level one? Yeah, so Holy don't shit. Like we do. So we get a century shell is out of the four, which is good. A century fingernails, two. A scarab shell, Very three. nice. And a scarab shell, four. Those Honestly, that's resources. about what we wanted. Yeah, we missed the elytra, the compound eye, and the underplate fungus. Yeah, the underplate fungus and compound eye might have been good, but I'm not I'm not complaining. Yeah. All right. Uh, Kisoka is now at one hunt XP, and Mikasa is now at one hunt XP. Oh, yeah. have more faces in this. Never. Bone. Organ. Lantern. Bone. Hide. Yay. Hide. Okay. Uh, so we could spelunking of death. Well, There's a temp hmm? first. Uh, do we age first or and get a hunt XP, or does that happen? Age first and get a hunt XP. Okay, Goku hits his last age before retirement. Okay, like He's, the elder. Yep, he is ageless, so... You are electing to take the hunt XP. You are not required to take it. Exactly. <laughs> okay, you are a lucky elder. Roll 2d10. Oh. Oh, we get one bonus resource. Yeah, did you want it out of the... Yeah, let's do it out of the Dung Beetle Knight. Or, actually, do we want to do it out of Basic for a possible skull? Possibly. I mean... We don't need another Underplate Fungus, I think you were saying? There's 15. Cards on that. Yeah, so there's one out of 15 chance. Yeah, so we... No... Like, we'd either gain a Compound Eye or an Elytra if we were lucky. Do we have two scarab shells? Uh, in town? Yeah. No, that we just picked up. Yes. yes. 
Um, I'm leaning in the direction we might make a beetle bomb. Really? Possibly. What's the beetle bomb do again? If adjacent to the monster, roll 1d10. On a 6 plus, the monster gains a negative 1 accuracy and negative 1 evasion token. Limit points per showdown. Roll 1d10 and on a what? 6 plus. Hmm. Might not be a bad idea. His hookups aren't bad either. I like yeah. the red down. Yeah. Um, yeah, we might make that. So I'm going to take a basic. Okay. Because we just need to spend five random resources towards it. Okay. And we can only make that this lantern year during digging up. Okay. Because you need the uh, vampiric artichoke. Mm-hmm. Oh. Okay, so what are we going to get as far as our last basic? If it's a skull, very happy. If not, we'll deal. Mm-hmm. Bone. <coughs> Where okay. was the skull? Oh, no. Okay. I thought it was the next card. It was three more down. Okay. I was going to be like, damn it! Okay, so, so Goku. 2d10. Here we go. Four! Uh-oh. Oh, my God, dude. Hi, Cat. You gain one permanent evasion. Are you shitting me? Yeah, but if you'd rolled a 7 through 15, you would have gained a permanent luck. Honestly, I almost prefer the evasion. <laughs> okay. It's silly. It puts them at 8 base evasion. Okay. All right. So now it's like, versus like a watcher or hard stuff, he still can dodge almost everything. Kitty. Yes. I okay. love how I just walked across your green screen. Yes. Okay. Uh, so that's that. That's the end of the hunt, I think? Yep. Okay, I will kill this recording. That is probably...